so welcome you all in this lecture so today's lecture is particle in one dimensional box so particle in one dimensional box this is as you know is an application of Schrodinger wave equation so here we will discuss how does a particles is behaves in one dimensional box and what type of relationship in case of the energy how we can find out the energy of a particle in one dimensional box so here we will discuss before going to that here we will see how a particle in a box uh, can be uh, and its derivation for a particles in one dimensional box and how can we find out the or we can check the quantization of energy existence of zero point energy and non quantization of energy for the particles so from here you know uh, a particle in uh, a box provide us the application of Schrodinger wave equation uh, to the translational motion for particle in an electron atom or electron uh, or small particles it also explains to why the energies associated are quantized so the motion of the particle in one dimensional boxes like the flow of an electron in a wire but still is called particle in box and a general case can be considered in which we may assume that a single particle like a gas molecule of mass having m is restricted to move in a region of the space x equal to 0 to x equal to a so this is the space from where these particles can move and it is a potential and its potential energy within the box is considered and taken as equal to zero for the sake of convenience so here you can see like in a particle in a one dimensional box so inside the box the potential energy is constant to all so this is taken as zero at outside the box this will be taken as infinite so like x equal to zero so x equal to a within this space the electron is restricted so particle is one dimensional box as we already said potential energy inside the box will be zero and on the wall of the outside of the and you can see outside of the box the potential energy is infinite so here in order to the particle may remain within the box it is essential to assume that the potential energy on uh, inside the box will be zero and outside the box will be infinite so here you can see as per the Schrodinger wave equation which you have we have already discussed so as per the Schrodinger wave equation so because there we had seen it for three coordinate but for one dimensional box on one axis so the Schrodinger wave equation is del square or d square psi upon dx square plus 8 pi square m upon h square into e minus v into psi equal to 0 here you know the psi is has uh, is a wave function as taken as a function of x coordinate only and you also know at the outside of the uh, box uh, v equal to infinite therefore outside the box the equation will be become del square psi upon dx square plus 8 pi square m upon h square into e minus v into psi equal to 0 so just assume this is an equation 1 and another one is equation 2 so after neglecting the e in comparison to infinite so the equation will become reduced to d square psi upon dx square minus infinite psi since one you will multiply this value 8 pi square m upon h square with infinity so the value will also come the infinity so in a simplified way we can write this equation d square psi upon dx square equal to infinite psi or psi you can uh, make an interchange or you can just rearrange the equation so psi will be 1 upon infinite into d square psi upon dx square will be equal to 0 so this equation provides 
uh, proves that the outside the box psi equal to 0 which implies that the particle can have the restricted inside the box for the particle within the box you know the v equal to 0 so therefore Schrodinger wave equation takes the forms which we can also write in this way d square psi upon dx square plus 8 pi square m upon h square into t psi so for the this the given state of the system the energy e is constant which is one of the postulate of the quantum mechanics so therefore we can put 8 pi square m upon h square into e in a, in a simplest way uh, can be represented by k square uh, and this is in a constant so this terms can be replaced uh, with the k square and this k is in a constant and it is independent of x so x means that particular position from where that uh, is the uh, you, you are finding the probability so here the equation 4 then will be becomes it will take another shape so let's see what is that so d square psi upon dx square plus k square psi equal to 0 so a general solution for this differential equation is given by as you know uh, this equation is generally given by this form psi equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx so here you also know a and b are constant so depending upon the value of a and b and k and psi can have many values but all the values are not acceptable only those value of uh, y are acceptable if they satisfy the boundary condition which is psi equal to 0 at x equal to 0 and x equal to a so there are certain conditions on the basis of those condition only these uh, equation will fit will be uh, only acceptable condition will be like this way so now coming to the another here if you can uh, further simplify so putting psi equal to 0 when x will be 0 so equation 7 will be becomes will take the another form 0 equal to b sin 0 plus b cos 0 so you know sin 0 equal to 0 and cos 0 equal to 1 so the final form it will take the equation once the uh, x will be 0 so equation 7 becomes will be psi equal to a sin kx now putting uh, the value of uh, 0 when x equal to e a becomes equation a be, uh, this equation 8 becomes will take an another say 0 equal to a sin k a or sin k equal to 0 and this equation holds good only when the values of k are integral multiple of pi also you can say k a equal to pi or k a equal to n pi and you know the n is the integer value like these values so however uh, like 0 1 2 3 but the value n uh, could be excluded because it makes the overall this value uh, k value will be uh, 0 so uh, for psi equal to 0 for any value of between 0 and a uh, within the box this is not true because the particle is always assumed to be present within the box so k can be seen from this equation n pi upon a so this can take another form of the equation so this value uh, of the k can be put over on the equation number 8 so you will get this equation will take the another shape like psi equal to a sin n pi upon a into x so this gives the expression for the eigenfunction y the expression for eigenvalue of the energy may be obtained by the following equation from it took from the equation 5 so that equation 5 will took the shape of this so e will be k square h square upon 8 pi square m so from here you can calculate the energy so this 
is the energy equation also you can say this can be helpful to calculate the energy so substituting the value of k from equation 11 you will uh, get this form n pi upon a square into h square upon 8 pi square m so after uh, after solving this after uh, making it in a simpler form it will take the shape equal to n square h square upon 8 m a square so example 12 uh, you know equation 12 and 14 are the solution of the Schrodinger wave equation for one dimensional box so this is overall you see the one dimensional box you will find the solution uh, in an energy equation uh, which will take the shape n square h square upon 8 m a square square so this is uh, the you know are the uh, solution for the Schrodinger wave equation for one dimensional box so now uh, you see uh, the expression for energy in a particle in one dimensional box uh, you can represent by this so here m is the mass of a particle and a is the length of the box so it is the box length you know from uh, 0 to uh, like x or x is having the value of a so this is the distance from where you can assume the particle in one direction or in x coordinate so now uh, there is certain uh, you know uh, quantization of energy can be find out from this uh, equation uh, so how we can see here we can see since n can have only one only integral value equal to 1 2 3 etc therefore equation uh, it follows that the energy associated with the motion of the particle in box uh, can only discrete values uh, or you can say uh, having the energy which is having the quantized energy so the integer n is called the quantum number or uh, of the particle so this is further putting n equal to 1 2 3 you will see the discrete energy level uh, will obtain for the particle of mass m and confined in a box of the length a r uh, can shown here like this figure so discrete energy levels of a particle of mass m confined in a box of length a can be seen from this here if the value of n equal to 1 so then as per the equation energy equation you know that is n uh, square h square upon 8 pi square 8 m a square so putting the value of n will be 1 so the equation will take the shape of h square upon 8 m a square and when you will take the value of n equal to 2 so the equation will be uh, 4 uh, it means 2 square uh, h square upon 8 m a square uh, after solving this you will see uh, this is 4 h square upon 8 m a square similarly 3 you have to put in place of n square so 3 into 3 will be 9 so 9 h square upon 8 m a square and similarly once you will put the value of n equal to 4 so this will be 16 h square upon 8 m a square so it means here uh, you can see by putting the value of uh, n uh, or you can say the quantum number uh, then the discrete energy levels can be obtained with the help of uh, for uh, one dimensional box uh, with the help of Schrodinger wave equation and similarly these equations are helpful to see the quantization of energy in case of two dimensional box and three dimensional box which we will discuss later so here uh, by with the help of uh, Schrodinger wave equation uh, you can see how it can be helpful to uh, check the discrete energy levels uh, of a particle having mass m and which is confined in a box of a certain length uh, which is being assumed here like uh, from x equal to 0 to x equal to uh, you know uh, a uh, we can assume so it is important to note that as the quantum number increases the separation between them uh, they will also increase because due to the uh, uh, the value of the equation is getting to be changed 
it may also be noted that energy level also depends upon the box length uh, and as increase the space available to the particle increases because the particle will have a more space to uh, there is a probability of uh, the finding the electrons will be more uh, in a different places so energy quanta becomes smaller and energy levels more closer or together if the box length becomes very large quantization disappears and there is a smooth transition from quantum behavior uh, you know to the classical behavior or continuous change so once the space is being you know like macroscopic species uh, compared to the uh, small species microscopic species as we discuss in initial lecture uh, that uh, the quantum uh, principles is more uh, you know helpful to explain the nature of a microscopic species so once you increase this uh, you know the space or increase the uh, yeah, then obviously the quantization will uh, disappears and there is smooth transition from uh, their quantum behavior to classical behavior will be change of or continuous change will be seen uh, in the uh, in, in the explanation so the minimum value of n could be only one because for the ground state energy the n will be the one uh, since n equal to zero is ruled out as we discuss uh, during to explanation of the schrodinger wave equation so substituting the value uh, then uh, we will see n square if you put the uh, number n equal to one then obviously this equation will take the shape equal to h square upon uh, 8m a square so this is also called zero point energy so here the meaning of zero point energy does not means you have to put the value of zero equal to uh, uh, in n in the place of n you should not put the value zero it means from the ground state the uh, as per the you know uh, as we discussed in a earlier uh, in a Bohr models so uh, because the, that h if you will put the n value 0 then obviously this uh, whole value will comes 0 so that, that, that is not taken so in a ground state energy or zero point energy uh, even once if it is asked to calculate the zero point energy then you have to put uh, the value of n equal to 1 so the overall solution will come equal to h square upon 8 m a square and then you will be able to calculate the zero point energy or ground state energy uh, for a particle in one dimensional box and if the like in non quantization of energy uh, if you want to that is uh, uh, you want to calculate uh, for the particles uh, since uh, if the walls of the box you know are removed suppose just assume if the walls of the box are removed so that the particle is free to move in a field whose potential energy value do not follow any restriction because once if suppose as we discussed uh, earlier here uh, if the particles restriction uh, is uh, is uh, is removed then obviously uh, there is no restriction for this value so it will not follow as a restricted area then the boundary conditions are no longer applicable because once you add set the boundary conditions like x equal to 0 to x equal to a and inside the box the potential energy equal to 0 so since you are removing that condition uh, then obviously uh, the boundary condition once are uh, you are not applying so it will be no uh, longer applicable and so uh, you know the constant a and b and k can have any value so the energy of the particle is then given by the equation uh, equal to uh, you know k square h square upon 8 pi square m so as the constant k have any value the energy of the free particle is not uh, can be you know uh, can be if it is like a constant then in this way uh, you can find out the energy uh, for the particle uh, by this equation k square h square upon 8 pi square m so here uh, the all 
terms are uh, as usual meanings uh, mass flanks constant like in uh, in case of if suppose you are talking like h square so the m uh, you know the mass of the you know the mass of the particle so by in if suppose you are removing this condition non quantization of, or if suppose the non quantization of energy for the particle you want to calculate or you want to calculate the energy so you have to follow up uh, this equation so now overall if you see uh, from the past you know uh, the discussion uh, we uh, discussed today's lecture uh, in a particle in one dimension box uh, which uh, is basically the application of schrodinger wave equation uh, you know uh, in case of uh, like in a small particles or microscopic species uh, like in case of here electrons and atoms uh, so that can be explained uh, with the help of schrodinger wave equation which is called schrodinger wave equation so derivation we had seen how to drive the equation for energy equation for uh, particle in one dimensional box uh, with respect to uh, or with the help of schrodinger wave equation and quantization of energy you know quantization of energy uh, we also seen uh, how uh, the energy is like in a quantized form uh, going from the quantum level uh, like n equal to 1 or n equal to 2 n equal to 3 n equal to 4 so how can we uh, you know find out the energy uh, energy in different uh, uh, discrete levels and by putting the value of the n uh, so by that way you can also calculate the energy uh, so that is being very important and uh, many more example is uh, is uh, also available so quantization of energy and existence of zero point energy as i said here the value of n will be put as a one or like in case of suppose if it is asked the ground state energy so even though the value of n will comes uh, n will be 1 not as a 0 otherwise the overall uh, solution will uh, not give the correct answer so ground state or uh, state energy and first excited energy first state of energy or uh, second excited energy uh, excited state and third or like that so n value will be changed from 1 2 3 4 like that uh, so by that way you can also find out the zero point energy and as you know uh, by this way you can uh, can get a different discrete energy levels uh, so with the help of particle in one dimensional box you can also uh, can check it out and if you see in terms of non quantization of energy so you know there is certain conditions for finding out this energy for a particle so what are those conditions because if suppose you you know because already we as discussed for a particle in one dimensional box and we restricted the particle in one particular area uh, so we are just finding the you know uh, because that there is you know the particle uh, if suppose you want to find out the energy for such kind of uh, particles uh, but if suppose there is some uh, which is the restriction in case of one particle one dimensional box uh, so if suppose you remove those uh, restriction uh, and if the particle is free to move uh, then the change that equation will change up the energy will uh, also you will calculate in a different way and if the distance you increase uh, you know or if it is a very high distance is there and it is very you know the particle is very uh, longer space is available or there is no condition is of restriction uh, then uh, then it will not behave like a quantum mechanically or it, it will uh, you know the relevance of calculating the energy has no meanings and it will uh, be like in a classical or continuous kind of behavior it will source uh, so that is very important 
so here uh, overall uh, if you see we discuss about the particle in one dimensional box their derivations how to derive it uh, and what is the relevance of quantization of energy zero point energy and quantization of energy and non quantization of energy for the particle so here are some of the questions which is generally being uh, can can be very important for explaining like explain in brief about the application of particle in one dimensional box and drive an equation for the particle in 1d box and uh, these are the basic questions which can be uh, can be made from these overall discussion right write a note on zero point energy and quantization of energy and also like non quantization of energy and all these kind of question can be asked so apart from all this overall discussion uh, we, uh, here the sum of the references which you can refer for more details you can see the online resources like swayam portal and ttl videos and many more books for the reference you can refer it out and now it thanks you all for listening this videos uh, and watching this videos and listening this uh, videos thank you so much thank you